Hey guys, it's Charles again. As you know, I brought to you a rare video with the Mobotics M15 that was melted by 3000 degrees steel. If you missed that video, check out the link in the description below. And uh, today I have another rare video for you guys. Less than 200 people have seen it. And it is dealing with smart cameras from Mobotics and they actually developed smart cameras in the early 2000s, back before even the iPhone. So uh, what happened was Mobotics developed the smart cameras and the city of Montebello, California used these smart cameras to develop a smart bus. And they went to the Safe Cities event in Houston, Texas to show off the smart bus. Unfortunately, they couldn't bring the bus with them, so they developed a tabletop version of the components that are in the bus. So what you're going to see in this video is two cameras, camera one and camera two, giving commands to each other and carrying out those commands. And uh, all the intelligence is actually coming from the camera itself. There is no server. Alright guys, so make sure you watch the entire video because at the end, they're going to pull up the live working bus and you can see the live video feed from the Mobotics cameras. You can hear alarms from those cameras sending notifications to the audience. For example, one of those is that the bus goes over 30 miles an hour and it alerts the audience. Another important note is that the two men that you'll see in the video are not from Mobotics. They don't work from Mobotics. They're not systems integrators there, the actual end users from Montebello, and they're just talking about their positive experience with Mobotics cameras. The video you're about to watch is the five minute condensed version. For the full version, click the link on the description below. Make sure you check it out. It's all done on the camera. Uh, the actions, the voice, the, what you're gonna be hearing, it's all done on the camera. But what you can hear right now, is it's all the camera. Correct, and just before you start, so they have their own brain. It is so easy. Also, one of these can stop a train. What Dave's going to demonstrate is our ability to lock out a, a, a bus operator. Let's begin the demonstration by turning on the main power to wake up camera two. So all the audio is coming from the camera. Yes, all the audio is actually coming from the camera now. Let me just let you know that these are not human voices, these are computer generated voices that we actually upload to the camera. So it's playing as it's going through. So right now it's booting up the camera too. It's turning on the power, it's turning on the second camera. And when the second camera comes up, it's gonna announce itself. Camera two is now on. Hello everyone. I am now ready to receive commands. Hello camera two. Let's begin by having you turn on your light bulb. Okay. I will turn on the amber light for a duration of one minute. Okay, the light is now off. Camera one, can you take a snapshot of the audience and upload it to the FTP server? Okay, camera two, I have taken the snapshot and uploaded to the FTP server. So, David, can you verify that it is there? Can you send me an acknowledgement command that you have received the file? Great. Let's continue. Camera 2. Can you monitor your thermal sensor for directional moment and announce the direction? Left motion detected. Okay. Waiting for right motion to activate. Right motion detected. Okay. Everyone should have heard the directional movement announcement. I have disarmed the event. What's your next command camera 1? All right. Camera 2, listen for emergency button. When activated, send an email and create an alarm on the laptop until viewer acknowledge. Okay. David, please check your laptop for the alert and check your email. I will pause here until we are ready to continue. Activated. You get an alert. Emergency alarm activated. You can get an alert in two different places. If you, get, if you actually have a tablet, you'll get an alarm on a tablet as well too, or on the phone. So I did pick the email. Uh, the email is just one action sent. Rear door is opening. Please watch your step. The simulation is opening the door, the back door. And now we're going to have to close the back door. Wait for no 
bathrooms. For your safety, please step away from the bus. The bus is about to depart. It hasn't pulled out yet. So For your safety, there's a stroke please right step here. away from the bus. The bus is about to depart. It's technically uh, Sir John moving, so it's Depart. Okay, so now, we close the door. Now they can take off when there's no, no more motion. Water, crash. Impact detected on camera 2 with sensitivity at 1. Impact detected on camera 1 with sensitivity at 5. That's the impact sensor we're talking about. So, actually, we actually have a bus that's running right now. This is in Montebello. That's actually a live feed um, from Montebello. And if you notice, it's not just telling us what the temperature is right now in the bus. Uh, it's telling us the GPS coordinate. It also tells us how many satellite GPS satellites it's picking up, which is kind of unique. Uh, because it's just telling how much Emergency light. Emergency alarm activated. Emergency alarm activated. That's Emergency actually, alarm activated. That's a notification that's coming from the bus in Mona Bell. Emergency alarm activated. It's not emergency. That's just a devil. <laughs> Alert. We bus 2925 have exceeded 30 miles per hour. So we actually put a, a speed limit on the bus. To the Alert. Bus 2925 have exceeded 30 miles per hour. Now I know what you're thinking, that was amazing. So make sure you share this video to other systems integrators and end users and uh, give me a big thumbs up or a little thumbs up, whatever you want. I like them all and uh, thanks, I'll see you next time.